get them bitches out of here. They don't supposed to, where them bitches at? Get, get them bitches, y'all supposed to be here no way. Get y'all bum asses out of here. This ain't y'all press conference. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all supposed to be here no way. Man, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You know I better not catch you in the U.S. I better not catch y'all in the U.S. I better not catch y'all in the U.S. Let me catch y'all in the U.S. All right, look, counterpunch of boxing. What's up, YouTube? All right, just a little taste of the 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 mayhem Mayweather down there causing in the UK. I mean, look, you know, typically a buildup like this, a press event, is boring as hell. But I mean, this dude has been running around for the past week just talking shit to everybody. I mean, look, you know, you just heard a little clip. I'll, I'll put a link in the in the box below. You know, you guys can check it out. You know, there's uh, tons of video out there. I mean, hundreds. You know, click on any one of them. But uh, yeah, basically, you know, he's trying to. I mean, he's trying to sell the fight. He's a promoter. He's trying to sell the fight. And he at one point he he goes up to the guys on the undercard. And uh, he tells him, look, you know, after Davis knocks out Walsh, you know, and, and the, everybody, you know, the fight's over and everybody goes home. He goes, I want y'all to sweep this place up real nice. OK, he's like, I want y'all to get it looking real good. I don't want no popcorn on the floor, no cups on the floor. I want this shit swept up nice and clean. You know, talking, talking to like the managers and the, the fucking boxer. I mean, I'm just like, dude, you know, you got Frank Warren behind him about to have a heart attack. Like somebody shut this motherfucker up like, yeah damn like you know like th this is the the queen country here you, you can't be you can't be acting like that dude but uh you know it, look i got a laugh out of it you know am i a mayweather fan no hell no but i got a laugh out of it anyway so uh you know calling them little leprechauns and uh you know telling uh telling uh Javante Davis you know you better take it easy on him we came a long ass way you know if you knock him out in round one I'm gonna be pissed you know we come a long way and you know just this crazy talk and uh but like I said it made for a good show and uh, and you could tell even the guys you know even like uh Liam Walsh and all the guys on the undercard they were all laughing it was in good fun you know uh everybody was smiling the whole time it got, well, it got I mean it got heated here and there you know it, it almost crossed that line but you know it was just Mayweather kind of walking the fine line of you know we're having fun and like a fight's about to break out so it was that fine line but uh all right yeah all right let's get let's get to it real quick and, and look later on i'm gonna put put out like a breakdown video of why i'm picking who i'm picking but but uh javante davis liam walsh all right davis 17 and 0 16 ko's and you got liam walsh 21 21 and 0 14 ko's the fight at the copper box arena basically it's a big ass box made out of copper they had like the 2012 uh the uh summer olympics held there you know so i thought that was pretty interesting i always like to look at the arenas you know i've always been interested in uh, arenas and things like that so oh there's thurman with that nasty ass elbow man i did a video on that last night but uh but yeah so so look man davis he stopped Jose uh, Jose Pedraza to win the IBF title last January. This will be the first title defense against Walsh. And, you know, look, Walsh is a tough dude. And, uh, you know, Davis, you know, he well, actually, let me get, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up just a couple of, couple of steps. Okay. Davis missed weight by two ounces. Now, from what I heard, they had their own independent individual scale in their their hotel room, and they said Davis was on point. He said, "Look, he made weight, you know." And they said actually he was like an uh, an ounce and a half underweight. And then we show up to the weigh in. He hasn't eaten anything. He he didn't drink anything, and he's two ounces overweight. So they're like kind of accusing, you know, these guys of a little bit of trickery. But they knew. Look, here's the thing: they're probably messing with him because they know he can take two he, another two ounces. Like in other words, if he's on point on weight, they're they're probably just making him cut another two ounces. You know, just it's just a little bit of pre-fight, uh, you know, strategy, psychological game. So. I think, uh, yeah, I really think he was on weight, and I think they're just messing with him over there in the UK. I really do because I don't think this dude is going to go all, come all that way, you know, to to miss it by two ounces. I mean, he doesn't look drained, 
you know, he didn't have like this grueling training camp, like a fat camp to cut all this weight. So for him to miss weight by two ounces, you know, eh, I don't know. I, I, I think there's some politics involved. But uh, but anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm going to pick Davis to win. I've got it a, a late round stoppage, and like I said, I'll, t I'll I'll explain why in a later video. I've got a lot a lot going. I got a lot to do right now, so I can't really get into it. But but yeah, I'm gonna go with Davis. Uh, you know, and I I don't think look, I don't think they're gonna go for a decision. I think Mayweather, you know, he's a veteran. He's smart enough to know you can't go across the pond, you know, and have a close fight and expect to go home with a decision. So you know, they're going for a stoppage. You're gonna make a statement. And look, there's a ton of pressure on him. There's a ton of pressure on Davis, okay, on Javante Davis, Tank, you know, that's what they call him, Tank, I mean, just a ton of pressure, you know, right now they're trying to build him into the, to the next uh, megastar, you know, the next, May, or the next Mayweather is what they're trying to do, and, uh, you know, can he carry that torch, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, now, you know, if you guys remember, you know, Mayweather, the money team, they tried to get uh, Jay Leon Love. Remember that? Jay Leon Love. They tried to, you know, they were trying to hype him up as like the next Mayweather. And, uh, you know, he's the next pound for pound king. I, mean, I don't know if you remember that. And then this dude from Mexico, I can't think of his name. He's kind of like a kind of like an out of shape, overweight. It was like Bubba, Bubba something or something like that. Some some just unknown dude from Mexico came in and beat him, you know, just just. I think he knocked him out. It was like, like I said, this was a couple years back. But so Jay Leon Love, he was out, you know, and then now, you know, oh, and then it was A.B., you know, possibly Adrian Broner was going to fill the shoes, and he's out. And now you have Davis. Now that's why there's all the, the bad blood be between Javante Davis and Adrian Broner because, uh, you know, this should be Broner up on that stage, in other words. So, but, uh, you know, we, we know Broner, he can't, he can't, you know he's not meant for it. he's he doesn't have the discipline you know he doesn't have the, he's not hungry for it he doesn't have the hunger you know none of that and this this kid here i think he does now i like him javante davis you you look you can't judge him on mayweather because i mean everything i've seen of this kid he's a he, he's a good kid now is he going to be corrupted and tainted by the money and the lifestyle and by mayweather probably but as of right now you know i think he's a good kid and uh you know, uh, I, I like them, you know, I'm, so I'm, I'm going to support them. But uh, in, until I see something I don't like, and if there's something out there that I shouldn't like, let me know. I mean, what is this? Like I said, so far, you know, he's done a good job. But uh, so anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Who are you picking? And, and tell me, you know, is my pick wrong? You know, who do you have? And, uh, you know, we'll see, I guess, tomorrow morning or tonight. Actually, tonight, probably around midnight, I'll come back with uh, with a review, like an immediate reaction video of the fight. So so let me know in the comment section who you are picking and we'll see. We'll see what happens.